Hey, congratulations, you just PB'd! <laughs> but now comes the boring part, and that is highlighting the damn thing. Luckily, there's a new plugin for Live Split that will automatically mark your runs and splits. This will make the process of highlighting your PB quicker and easier. So stay tuned and learn how to speedrun highlighting your next PB. <laughs> At the start of February this year, Furious Underscore made a new plugin for Live Split called Auto Stream Marker. As the name suggests, this automatically marks your speedruns in the Twitch highlighter. This will make it especially fast when you combine it with the Twitch attempt counter. You can just write down your attempt when you're done, and then you can look later in the timeline of the Twitch highlighter where your run starts and ends. This means that the Auto Stream Marker tells when the run starts and when it ends and when you reset. There's even an option on the Twitch highlighter to include every single split. However, I do not recommend it for very short runs because this will clutter the timeline on the Twitch highlighter very quickly. But luckily you can turn that option on or off just for your own liking. So Shuri, how do you download and install the damn thing? Yo, that's a great question. We're going to do that right now. So first things first, you have to go to the website that is in the description and download the live split .dll. so when you downloaded this file you can just cut the file by pressing ctrl x and after that you have to go to your live split folder so when you are in the main folder of your live split go to components and drop the file there i already have the file of course but for tutorial sake just pretended that it was not there already so when you're done and you had the live split open close it and then open it up again so when it's open again you can right click it click on edit layout and go to the plus and if you go to other you will see now right there auto stream marker so we're going to click on that like so and we can double click it and we can connect to our twitch because we have to give it the permissions to make the auto highlights so we click on it we will go to the screen we can click on authorize there it is it says done you can close this window now so you know you're done and then you can also choose between two options you can check or uncheck these boxes mark every split in the vault means literally every split so if you have a game with a lot of splits or very short runs that makes it very hard to see which one is which i recommend turning this one off and the second option is mark resets in the vault and honestly i would recommend to keep this one checked but that is also because i do speed runs that require to show resets so this way it makes it easier for me to go just a little bit back behind the marker and just go further so this is basically how you how you set it up so now you might wonder how it will look like in the twitch highlighters so when you go to video producer and go to one of your files i'm going to choose this one which has 22 markers so i go to highlight i click on here and we go to this screen and if we scroll down you can see like how it's all marked and it's very easy like here you can see ah here the run started it was run 31 and right here was where i reset the run because unfortunately this run died but as you can see like every split is marked i have sanctum interior the game begins smoky and the bandits etc and this may it can be easier to segment certain parts if it's something special happened a very insane split for instance so let's pretend we pb'd we can go to here and see that this is where the run started so if we click right before that stream marker happens you can, you can even zoom in if you if you feel like it let's say right here we can just click on start segment I'm going to zoom out a little bit because this was a pretty long VOD. You can see here is where we reset. Let's pretend that that was the final split. And click just be after that. And if you want, you can add reaction later and stuff. But this will still make it a lot easier. And then we can click on end segment at the playhead. And this is just like, yay, BB, boggers, etc. You, you can name your PB all you want, of course. And then you can click on publish highlights, download it, put it on YouTube or whatever you normally do after your PB. 
and it's a lot easier than just to ch check the whole timeline for like where do i start where do i start and what i already recommend early in this video just write down or something or make a screenshot of when your pp happened on which attempt counter especially if you do multiple resets and in that way it makes it so much easier to go back and just look at the markers where, where your run started. It's so much nicer and easier. This will save so much more time and it's super easy to install. And honestly, we should thank Furious for this because this is super efficient. This is all you have to do to speed run your highlights of your speed runs. So my question to you is, which speed run are you going to try out with this new plugin first? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing because that will help me out. Please consider following me on these platforms as well if you want to stay in touch with me. Thank you so much for watching once again and speed on.